Welcome back to the channel, guys. I just had this great intro all ready and done with the sled coming out of the garage because we're finally doing a walk around of my 2023 Skidoo Backcountry XRS 850. Right now it has the two up seat on it. And I put the battery in and it said it had 40% and then it didn't have 40%. So without further ado, you know what this video is about. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel and we're gonna get right into it. All right, now before we get too into it, I'm gonna turn this off because the screen is still on and I don't want to do that. Okay, I have to add my main registration stickers. I got my New Hampshire stickers on there. I gotta put my main registration stickers on there. I've only got about 50 miles on it. We've only taken it out twice and both times got cut a little bit short due to uh, one of my buddy's sleds breaking down and then um, I actually drained the battery on it because I'm kind of lazy and kind of dumb at the same time. It has to do with the heated grips on the two up seat, but that is besides the point. Other than that, guys, the sled is absolutely awesome. When purchasing this thing, I was deciding between either originally Last year, I was looking at just the new, the back countries. The, the, it's like a back country sport. It's like the one from the bottom, basically. And uh, the, the colorways that were on it were just awesome. It's what I wanted just for the colors. Didn't have any of the gauge or the tech or anything like that in it. It was just kind of a bare bones sled. And what made me kind of go to this is because, well, the colors this year were absolutely junk. Um, yeah. Obviously, you can wrap it. I'm not stupid, but it was realistically just an excuse to buy something better that I enjoyed more, which is exactly what I did because I'm a sucker for nice technology as well as just nice things in general. So then it came down to, do I want the X or the XRS? This is my first snowmobile, obviously, as you guys know. So I didn't really know where to go. So I was thinking what's better for resale because I also wasn't sure if I wanted an 850 or not. Um, so what would be better for resale if I ever wanted to get rid of it? And then how much it costs. So I priced everything out and this thing was about $1,500 to $2,000 more expensive than an X. And I knew I was gonna be financing at least some of it and we'll get into that later on in a different video. What kind of swayed my decision is I met someone who informed me that uh, there's other places to buy where taxes don't matter as much. So I basically got this snowmobile for the price it would have cost me to get a X in my current state and since these don't have to be registered in the state you live only registered in the state you ride in that kind of swayed my decision because I wouldn't have had to pay the sales tax for my current state I ended up going with the Skidoo Backcountry XRS and guys this thing is awesome you have the adjustable KYB shocks I haven't messed around with these things too too much yet um, we're gonna start testing those out fairly shortly. So all the way around fully adjustable KYB shocks This thing also needs a bath because it's been out a few times and uh, I haven't gotten the chance to clean it yet And it hasn't really been a warm day and right now it's a pretty warm day So I might actually hose this guy down because we're gonna load it back up tonight and take it out to Maine Tomorrow is the current plan. So I did get fancy screen as you can see here it is the 7.8 inch panoramic screen which is controlled by this dongle down here this guy takes 91 because it is the 850 and then you have the standard gen 4 control switches here so you have headlight start stop your heated grips and heated thumb grip and then a volume control and how you can answer and turn off calls with the gauge cluster over there um all in all this thing is awesome the other thing I got when I bought it was I bought the two up seat. As you can see over here on my lawnmower, this is the seat that came with the sled. They're both super comfy. Uh, I just bought the two up seat at the time of purchase to make it a little less hard on the wall because it's about $1,000. And then obviously the girlfriend comes with me. So that is that. Uh, the gas caddy, that is from my Sea Dew, which I still have. Um, but obviously it can go on this. And then I got an oil caddy as well. 
because this thing drinks oil and especially when it's in the braking mode which it is right now so it is drinking a lot of oil i need to get the mounts for this so i can put the oil caddy on top and move all of this hopefully forward underneath there if not I can just run it as it is right now. I also need to get a storage bag. So if any of you have any recommendations on a storage bag for this snowmobile, uh, please let me know because I do not know what would be best. I, I don't have much storage in the sled at all right now when it comes down to um, like bags and bringing like water bottles along, shovels, like any equipment you really need when you're out in the back country, basically in the middle of nowhere. So it'd be nice to have. Um, another thing I got, when I bought this is some dollies. The dollies make it way easier to store the sled in my garage. So we have the color matched green handles here. I'm debating on wrapping it come spring. I'm gonna insert some pictures here into what kind of wrap I wanna do and what I was kinda looking at. I wanna get a vote from you guys. So let me know in the comments down below if you think I should wrap the sled a different color. Uh, obviously it's gonna keep a lot of the green undertones because I really can't get away with that unless I take the whole skid apart, get new skis for it, change the bumper out. Like there's a lot of things that I would have to do to get rid of the green. So that's not going to happen. The green is going to be a color that is staying on the sled no matter what. But we're going to do just a quick like glance over of this thing. It is mean looking, guys. So another reason I got this, this is the last generation. Or not the last generation. This is probably the last year of the back country in the generation four. Last year they introduced the G5 for Skidoo and the G5s look interesting. I'm not totally a fan. Some people love it, some people hate it. Uh, I think it's gonna take time to grow on me. I think I like the trail sleds more than I like the uh, mountain sleds when it comes to the G5s. And I just love the generation four look. So I pulled the trigger this year and that's uh, honestly why I bought it. So another thing I'm thinking about doing is getting away from the thumb throttle and going with the Munster finger throttle. So if any of you guys have any experience with that, I do probably about 85% trail riding. So about 15% of it will be off trail. I know they think the Munster is more geared toward off trail, but with the sea doing everything, I think I just like the idea of the finger throttle better than the thumb throttle, but that's just me. Obviously I have these guards and I get the guard for it as well. Um, I think it's just, I like the idea of it better. Um, I'm gonna turn it on real quick, show you guys what the, um, give it power, show you guys what the gauge looks like. There's a million videos of this thing around, so I'm not gonna go too much into detail of it. But you can connect your phone and stuff to it, use it for um, navigation with the BRP Go app, which I've heard is janky, but it might have gotten a little better. You never know. I actually need to adjust the time on this thing. But as you can see, yeah, I got 46 miles on it, if you can see that. I found ways to bring a GoPro and like mounts that'll work with my helmet really, really well and won't be like in the way and gaudy. So I think I'm gonna do that. The only thing I have to figure out is how to get a microphone into the helmet until I figure that whole thing out. There won't be too many videos of using the snowmobile. So this season might just kind of be working out the kinks or next season I might be actually able to uh, get some videos with it, which I'm super excited to get this sled out there and get some more videos with it. Cause it's just a cool toy. And uh, now I officially have a toy for like every single season and terrain except for air. So uh, I don't think I'm going to pilot's license anytime soon, but I, I can go over snow with a tracked vehicle. I can uh, go over water with my jet ski and then the Jeep can do just about everything else in between. So uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I love having this thing in the garage, guys. It is a great addition to the family. In a future video, I think I'm gonna do expenses of everything. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, share, comment, and I seriously hope you guys subscribe to the channel because there's gonna be more content coming. I really, really appreciate the subscriptions, guys. It keeps me motivated to keep this stuff going, especially now that I'm back into it and trying to get a video out as often as I realistically can. So uh, with that being said, guys, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah, it's that first day of first grade, that cute girl, your third day, that backpack, that snapback, you've had